All right, welcome back to another Money Monday video. I thought I would do a video and talk about Grayscale stuff uh, because I got a question from a user and I wanted to explain it for everybody. They had a question as to, you know, well, why is it that you can make more money in Grayscale versus native cryptocurrency? And so I wanted to discuss that. I also wanted to discuss premiums and what they are, just to clarify that for people so everybody understands. Um, and none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude in a Jeep that you found on YouTube. So I could be wrong about everything. All right. Do your own research, make your own decisions, all that kind of stuff. Standard disclaimer. Um, the reason that you can make more money in Grayscale Trust is that there are premiums that come into play. And if there are premiums that come into play, your gains are enhanced over native cryptocurrency. If we don't have premiums come into play, then there really is no gain, right? If, if it's a one-to-one -one, uh, similarity, then there is gonna be no performance gain over native cryptocurrency. But the fact is, during the last bull run, we had some pretty significant premiums come into play that really magnified results. And that makes a huge difference. Like when you're investing, ultimately you're looking, you're, you're investing for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to make gains, to make money, to make bank, right? And so, the fact that there are premiums that come into play in the grayscale funds, that's what helps you increase or magnify your gains over standard cryptocurrency. I mean, we had some crazy premiums last bull run, just absolutely crazy, like 20, 30 X premiums that, it, you know, if you were paying attention and you got out when the premiums were high or you sold a good tranche when premiums are high, you really made out well. And I'll do another video where I talk about some examples of that in Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin. But it just shows you that that you can make way more money in the Grayscale Trust than you can in native cryptocurrency, assuming we have premium, premiums in play and assuming that the premiums that are in play are greater than any premiums that might be currently uh, you know, in play. So for example, right now, the Stellar Lumens GXLM fund has I think about a 50% premium. I, th I think it's about 50%, so it's like a 1.5X premium. So we would have to get above that in order to uh, see a gain. If we if, if we never get above 1.5X premium during the bull run, then there would be no performance gain over standard Stellar Lumens XML investing if you invested in the native cryptocurrency. So it is, it, it's the fact that, you know, the reason you have premiums coming into play is that um, it's, there's a limited number of shares, you know, that, that are in each trust and people are vying for those shares. People are trying to get access to them. They think that the cryptocurrencies will do well and they want to invest in them through their IRA or through their brokerage account. And so they're trying to get access to them. And because there are a limited number of shares, the investors who currently hold the shares are able to charge a premium. They, they're able to charge more. Like if I've got a dollar worth of Litecoin, for example, and I know that a bunch of people want it and they want it really bad and I, I can sell it to them for $2 or $5 or $10 or $20 depending on how bad I think they want it and depending on where we are in the bull run like if 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 the, if they want it really bad and we're at the beginning of the bull run I might say well pff, you know I was going to make a lot of money I was thinking I was going to make a lot of money in the bull run but okay if you want my shares now I'll give them to you but you're going to have to pay a, a high premium for them right now at the start of the bull run because I could have made a lot of money if I just rode things out so that, that's how the premiums work. And that's why you can make money. Like if you are an early investor and you get in when, especially when there's a discount um, or at least a low premium, you can make money if the premiums rise and the discounts come off. It's just ba basic math. And at the end of the day, like, you know, at the end of the day, your goal is to make money with investing. It, it, that's, that's the ultimate goal. So, you know, you might have, let's say like you were a cryptocurrency investor and you hold cryptocurrency like XLM or LTC or BCH and you really love those tokens, those coins. That's amazing, that's great. But if you wanna make more money than you can in them, then you should at least consider the Grayscale funds because they can potentially amplify your games. It, it gains. It's not a guarantee, there's no guarantees. I can't give, give a guarantee. I don't get a guarantee from anybody. But all I can do is I can look at the past and I can say, okay, well, this is what happened during the last bull run. 
and <clears throat> excuse me, this is what happened during the last bull run. And I expect similar things to it to happen in the coming bull run. That's all I can do. All I can do is analyze the data, uh, look at the patterns, look at what happened, and then kind of extrapolate and apply that to the next bull run and say, well, I think things are going to be similar, maybe not as crazy as they were, but they could be crazier. I don't know. I mean, it's like more and more people are getting into crypto, more and more institutions are, it, it, you know, interested in it. And it could be even crazier than last time. I mean, the the uh, I'll do a video where I talk about the Bitcoin Cash and the Litecoin premiums and just some of the patterns that I saw and what what looks like it was investor expectations as to what those tokens could do back then in 21. Um, but it, it, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy how things went. And I, I know I, I was in the market for the 21 bull market. I was in the grayscale funds, specifically the Litecoin and Bitcoin cash. And they were absolutely crazy. Like I made a ton of money. I also saw my investment drop significantly because I didn't sell the majority of it. And when the premiums came off, I saw it drop significantly. So I know what it's like to to lose a good portion, at least on paper, at least theoretically, um, you know, and so I'm learning from from my experience and trying to learn as much as I possibly can about how the premiums operated in the 21 bull market, because I expect things to happen in a similar fashion uh, for next year's bull market. So it's it, that's just kind of what I'm doing and all this stuff. That's why I'm just trying to share this stuff. Like I see a huge opportunity <clears throat> in the grayscale trust and a huge opportunity to increase gains over normal cryptocurrency that, you know, and I'm just trying to share this stuff because I think it would be helpful to a lot of people. Uh, I want to help you because I think the world is better when money goes to good hands. And I think you're a good person. I don't even know you, but I'm, you found me. So for some reason, we connected the universe, put us in touch. And that's just the way I see things connecting. Anyway, that's the spiritual side of me. Um, and I want you to do well. So I'm trying to give you the best information that I, I have. But I'm also putting my hands up and saying, like, don't blame me. Like, I'm not a financial advisor. You got to do your own research. You should always do your own research on stuff to figure things out. But that's why I like Grayscale is because they, the premiums come into play and it's, it's the, it's the limited supply and demand, uh, or limited supply and the increased demand that causes premiums to skyrocket. When, when people want a limited resource and they're having to fight for it, they're having to buy for it. That's when you get those premiums coming into play. And that's, that's the basics of, of that stuff. If you guys have questions about anything that I talked about or some corollary question, just leave it in the comment below and I'll do my best to do a video to follow up. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm doing one on Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin and some of the premium premiums that came into play during the, the last bull market. And I wanted to get some of that information to you guys so you can work with that and kind of use that for planning purposes. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, good luck. God bless. Godspeed.